So Sean, how's, uh, how's everything going for you at the moment then? Are you pleased with your form? Yeah, well it's going well. Can't really complain doing, I think I'm doing well. Uh, getting forward in the games and then obviously we ain't lost yet so since I've been playing so it's been it's been good. Yeah. What was the uh what's the manager been saying to you since you've been in the team? What me personally? Yeah. No, I just said um just keep it going really. It's just him and Gibbo um what he wants a full to do in the games, obviously get forward, be on the front foot and that's all I could like that's what I could really do. Yeah. I mean since since you came to Reading this must be what you've kind of been desperate for all, all of along. Really, just to get in that team and cement your place finally. Yeah, that's the thing. Like everyone wants to cement their place in the team. Obviously, you can have to keep working hard. Obviously, you've got competition all over, all over the place, and there's different people that could play in positions. Mm. But uh, I think it's my time now. Hopefully, like just to cement my place in the team, as you said, and just to keep doing well. Yeah. What What do you make of uh, Reading's position at the moment, fifteenth in, in the league table? Well, I think it's only been about 10 games. So obviously, we've got another 36 games left to go, so there's no, there's no worries at the moment. As long as we can build up a good run, everyone knows in the Championship that it's going to be tight no matter what position you're going to be in. You could win a game, you could jump like about four or five places, so we just have to be that um, consistent team. Mm. And um, looking at the table, there's a Nottingham Forest down at the bottom, and Southampton who came up last season are up at the top. Do you are there any teams that have surprised you this season that when you when you look at their results and their performances? No, not really. To be fair, like, everyone knows. Like as I said, the championship is uh, obviously Norwich came up last season and got promoted into the Premier League. So everyone's got a chance, really. Mm. So that's how it works. Uh, going into the season, who did you kind of tip? Who did you think would be right at the top and, and leading the chase? Reading. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so you got a little way to do to turn it around. I mean, yeah, no. Last season you left it late and yeah, exactly. you could do it. No, we could do it. It's not a problem. As I said, there's plenty more games left to go. We just have to build up that run of consistency and, and we'll get there. Mm. Do you guys feel, as, as a group of players, that you missed a trick in the way that a lot of the teams that you've played are, are near the bottom and some of them you've lost to and some of them you've drawn, drawn to? Does that frustrate you guys a little bit? No, because we just focus on ourselves, really. We know what we're capable of doing. So. If we go into a game and play how we play, then it's not going to be a problem. We could beat any team in the league. Mm. Yeah, so. And if you looked at the league table, well, not the league table, but the fixtures recently, do you do you study them and? Yeah, well, we know like what games you got coming up like recently mm. in the next few games. I think yeah, I think our next game is on the fifteenth against Burnley. Yeah. Away up there, so obviously that's going to be a hard game because Burnley like a consistent team, so. We we'll just have to go up there and try and get a result. Yeah, and then you got Southampton and Derby in, uh, yeah. as well. At it? home games, yeah. Yeah, two two teams that are, that are at the top. That must be exciting to. Yeah, especially uh, playing them at home. Obviously, if we could um, get six points from now, even four points, thinking about it, it'll be it'll be good. Mm. Uh, what do you make of um, the, the changes in the team at the moment as well? Obviously, there's, there's a couple of changes at the back. There's you know, different. Different personnel up front. Um, how do you think that's all going? I think it's going well. Obviously, it's the manager's decision to obviously to pick the team, and if he feels it's right to play certain players, then like it's his decision at the end of the day. But anyone coming into the team, mm. we all know that they're going to do a job and like try their hardest. So that's all we could ask for anyone in the team that's yeah. playing. And uh, your your good mate Jem out of the side at the moment. He must be disappointed, but I'm sure he's working hard to. Yeah, definitely. Back. Obviously, any player that's not playing is going to be disappointed. That's just everyone's human. Everyone's going to be disappointed. But obviously, he's working. He, everyone knows Jem. He's going to work hard to try and get back into the team. So, and he's doing that. So hopefully, he'll get his chance soon. Yeah. What's it? Um, what's it like training during international week with a lot of players off and? And that, do you guys do anything different? Is it training no, it's different? Just, no, it's just the same work really, just obviously keeping the fitness up. Obviously we had a few days off, so it's just about getting that fitness, like maintaining that fitness, I should say, mm. and then going into the next game next week. Do anything exciting on your days off? <laughs> Not at all. No? Rest. Rest. <laughs> <laughs> You can hardly home. ever have four days off in a row, so you just got to take that, especially when it's going to be a long season. So any day off that you could get, especially it being four in a row, you're just going to chill. Yeah, I guess it's always good having having a decent result as well, draw to Middlesbrough to, yeah, exactly. to feed off. Yeah, definitely.